Elon Musk's SpaceX has achieved a remarkable milestone with the successful landing of a key component of its Starship rocket during its fifth test flight. This historic event saw the lower stage of the Starship rocket, known as the booster, being captured mid-flight by a massive set of mechanical arms positioned near the launch platform in Boca Chica, Texas. The achievement signals a giant leap forward in SpaceX's long-term goal of creating a fully reusable, rapid-launch space vehicle system. A historic first. Before the flight, the chances of successfully landing the booster on the first attempt were considered slim. SpaceX engineers were prepared for the possibility that the booster would need to land in the Gulf of Mexico instead, a scenario that would have required additional resources for recovery. However, in a show of precision and innovation, the booster re-entered the Earth's atmosphere and slowed its descent using its powerful Raptor engines. As it approached the landing platform, it hovered momentarily before being gently captured by the mechanical arms. This was the first time a rocket booster had been captured so precisely in such a manner, showcasing both the advanced engineering of SpaceX and the company's evolving approach to reusable space technology. The success of this test flight also included the achievement of two key objectives. The booster was successfully caught by the mechanical arms, and the upper portion of the rocket, the ship, landed safely in the Indian Ocean. Both accomplishments were seen as critical steps toward proving the viability of Starship as a reusable spacecraft for future missions, including crewed space travel to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. SpaceX's vision for a fully reusable rocket. Elon Musk's vision for SpaceX has always been to make space travel more affordable and accessible through the development of fully reusable rockets. The successful catch of the booster on its return marks a significant advancement toward that goal. With the booster being caught rather than landing on a traditional platform, SpaceX can dramatically reduce the amount of infrastructure needed for recovery which in turn enables faster turnaround times for future launches. This innovation also fits into SpaceX's broader strategy of making spaceflight more sustainable. By reusing major components of the rocket, such as the booster and the ship, SpaceX can reduce the cost of launching payloads into space. This is particularly important as the company sets its sights on more ambitious missions, such as sending astronauts to the moon and establishing a permanent human presence on Mars. As part of NASA's Artemis program, SpaceX has been tasked with developing Starship as a lander that will carry astronauts to the lunar surface by 2026. This is an incredibly tight timeline, and the successful demonstration of Starship's capabilities could position SpaceX as a leader in human space exploration. Overcoming challenges and learning from failures. One of the key factors behind SpaceX's success is its approach to failure. Unlike traditional aerospace companies, SpaceX has embraced the idea of launching early and learning from its mistakes, allowing for rapid iterations of its technology. The company has experienced several high-profile setbacks in the past, including the destruction of rockets during earlier test flights, but Musk and his team have consistently used these failures to gather valuable data, refine their designs, and push the boundaries of what is possible in space technology. The fifth test flight, for example, came just a few months after SpaceX's inaugural flight, during which the Starship rocket exploded shortly after liftoff. SpaceX engineers took the lessons from that failure and applied them to improve the booster's design, the re-entry process, and the precision of the catch system. While no company can afford to experience failure indefinitely, SpaceX's rapid development model has allowed it to test, fail, and improve faster than its competitors. Navigating Regulatory Hurdles While SpaceX's Starship program has made significant strides in technology, regulatory hurdles remain a critical challenge. The Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, which oversees commercial space launches in the U.S., is still reviewing SpaceX's licenses for future launches. As part of this review process, the FAA assesses the environmental impact of rocket flights, including concerns about noise, air quality, and carbon emissions. The relationship between SpaceX and the FAA has been tense at times. 
The FAA recently sought to fine SpaceX for allegedly violating certain conditions related to previous launches, and Musk has publicly criticized the agency for what he calls an overly cautious and bureaucratic approach to space regulation. This dispute highlights the ongoing tension between innovation in the private sector and the regulatory frameworks that govern space activities. Despite these challenges, SpaceX remains determined to continue testing and improving Starship, and Musk has made it clear that the company will press ahead with its plans for rapid flight testing and system development. The FAA's approval process will be a key factor in determining how quickly SpaceX can advance toward its ambitious goals. Environmental Impact and Sustainability One of the more pressing concerns surrounding rocket launches is their environmental impact. SpaceX has faced criticism from environmental groups and some experts regarding the potential harm caused by the emissions from its rockets. Starship's propulsion system runs on liquid methane, a relatively new fuel that is still being studied for its environmental effects. While experts agree that rocket emissions are far less significant than those from other transportation sectors like aviation, there are still concerns about pollutants such as black carbon, which is released into the upper atmosphere during rocket launches. Black carbon particles are highly effective at trapping heat, which could have a long-term effect on the climate. Because rockets like Starship launch at much higher altitudes than commercial airplanes, these pollutants can linger in the atmosphere longer and have a greater warming effect. Dr. Eloise Moray, an atmospheric chemist at University College London, notes that while carbon emissions from rockets are relatively minor compared to other sources, the higher altitude release of pollutants like black carbon remains a significant concern. She also points out that there is still limited data on the environmental effects of using liquid methane as a propellant. As SpaceX continues to develop Starship, gathering data on these emissions and finding ways to mitigate their impact will be an important area of focus. The Road Ahead Looking to the future, SpaceX has laid out ambitious plans for Starship that extend beyond Earth's orbit. Musk has repeatedly stated his belief that humanity must become a multiplanetary species, and Starship is central to that vision. In addition to its role in NASA's Artemis program for lunar exploration, SpaceX plans to use Starship for missions to Mars, including crewed flights aimed at establishing the first human colony on the Red Planet. For now, the Starship program is still in its early stages, and SpaceX has a long road ahead. There are numerous technical, regulatory, and environmental challenges that must be addressed before Starship can become a fully operational system capable of handling routine space missions. However, with the successful demonstration of the booster's landing and the successful return of the ship from space, SpaceX has made a significant leap toward its long-term goal. The success of this test flight is a testament to the engineering innovation bold vision, and rapid iteration that SpaceX has come to be known for. As the company continues to push the boundaries of space,